Hi guys, welcome to my videos. So guys, I saw something and I really decided to uh, put my views on it, my personal views. That's why I'm making this video. So this is about government at various locations and in various countries cracking down on Airbnb properties. So this is what I'm going to say and especially my discussion would be in and around uh, Canada because I have been seeing a lot over here. So guys, in the province of Quebec in Montreal, there was an incident and some rules have been enacted. We have seen something in New York also, and those are abuzz. But few points I would like to say that may help uh, as per my view, this concern. Now, first of all, why somebody goes for Airbnb? Why uh, like if I own a house, extra house, uh, investment property, whatever, why would I uh, try to go to Airbnb? Few reasons. Um, more money than traditional renting purpose. Second, more control. So here is one thing like if you go by second, more control. Now, especially in Canada, uh, Ontario and other places. Like if there's an issue with uh, tenancy, OK, your tenant, it's going to take months to get a hearing. And there have been professional tenants. Not everyone does it like this number is very few those who take advantage of this delay and they can stay on your property for months rent free and like they have all the control like as a landlord you cannot even disconnect vital services you cannot do anything wrong because you just have to interrogate means someone can stop paying rent and still can stay on your property for months and police will not intervene because it's a matter of ltb it's same across the other provinces too in some places it's even worse so why? So this is one. I think this is the reason that people are now going for Airbnb because they instead of uh, renting your house to a long term tenant, they think, OK, let's go do Airbnb, have more control on our property. So this is the reason that is forcing people to do that apart from money. Money is definitely a reason, but I think this reason is also very important. So if government if our governments can bring this uh, wait time at ltb down landlord and tenant board or whatever it is called in their respective provinces and states this will help because in this way landlords or property owners will get the confidence that yeah that uh, somebody ca cannot live on my property for long for rent free so then a lot of these people, those who have been forced to go to Airbnb route, would prefer to go back to a long term tenancy because if I have to, if I have a property that I would like to uh, use as investment, I would prefer long term tenants because Airbnb is not an easy task, although it may sound to, but there are various standards, be it cleaning, be it providing services, be it providing uh, facilities. You don't want to mess around with that, right? Especially if you have some other jobs to do, you may not find enough time to do that. So, <clears throat> so if you really want to uh, handle this situation, if you really want to handle this situation properly, I mean, in my case, in my opinion, if our government manages to bring down LTB wait time, that will help. Like not uh, then it will automatically uh stop a lot of people going to airbnb it's not the case that airbnb doesn't have issues everything has issues but people because of uh, high delays at ltv find uh, going to airbnb is a better option and that is what needs to be done in order to stop so like make the process efficient because justice delayed is equivalent to justice denied. Somebody is living on your property and stops paying rent and it's going to take anywhere between six months to one year for you to evict that guy. And he's going to stay rent free on your property. So these rules need to be changed, right? It shouldn't be more than a month or two so that even landlords will get confidence that they can rent their property long term and can live stress free. So this is what I think should be done in order to handle this Airbnb crisis. And of course, um, housing crisis, I should use the proper term with. 
So this is what I wanted to say, guys. And uh, thanks for watching this video.